Hey guys, how you doing? So somebody wrote this comment, WordPress in 2025? Question mark. I've been applying to dev, dev jobs, uh, knowing HTML, CSS, JS, React, Vue for a year, no luck. I see a silly amount of WordPress jobs and they have very few applications every time. I'm incredibly tempted to jump into the world of PHP and WordPress. So there you go. Rule number one, look at the market. Don't listen to a bunch of young nerdlings on YouTube who tell you which technology is the best. Look at what the job market is like. Now, WordPress and PHP may not excite you. I don't know why, because uh, I like money, uh, but that's good because if it's not exciting to you, it may not be exciting to a lot of other prospective developers. So what happens, you have all these WordPress sites, you have all these companies that are are based on PHP, WordPress, Laravel, all this PHP stuff. And because everybody's been sold on uh, React and Vue and JavaScript frameworks and TypeScript and so forth, uh, you got all these small businesses that depend on WordPress and they're looking for WordPress devs. You see, uh, managing WordPress, configuring uh, WordPress templates, managing the plugin infrastructure, AI is not replacing anybody doing that, right? No chance. What you ought to do if you're looking for a job and uh, you know your basics, like you're like this guy, you know React, Vue, et cetera, learn a little bit of WordPress. It isn't hard, it's not perfect, it has its problems, but it's actually, once you understand its quirks and what it can do, it's very powerful. And more importantly, there's a lot of jobs out there. Yes, there are a lot of low paying jobs, but there's also very high paying jobs. As I've been saying, I have, uh, for example, just a friend of mine has a travel tourism business. He spent like 20 grand on getting one of his, uh, his WordPress based website uh, updated with a new theme and stuff because it's non-trivial and you're not going to get some AI to generate all this stuff. You should be using AI to help you out uh, in the process, of course, but it's not going to, uh, some some guy who owns a coffee shop has a WordPress site or maybe a small manufacturer of, I don't know, teacups or something. They're not going to go to uh, Claude and install cursor and start generating WordPress templates and uploading, configuring servers. It's not going to happen. It's very complex. So yeah, if you're looking for a job, if your concern is about making money and building a career as opposed to being code pure, according to the dictates of young nerdlings out there, I would strongly suggest you look into that. But again, don't take my word for it. First thing you do is in your market, look around at the job opportunities. And you're probably going to see a lot of WordPress and PHP opportunities. And if you're not too sure, call them up. Say, do you have a lot of openings? Are you looking for it? And let's say you're not a WordPress developer. Let's say you're a React Vue developer uh, and you know your JavaScript and you know your, uh, your full stack. And you, you call them up and say, are you looking at WordPress developers? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. All right. Okay. Um, I know Vue and stuff, but I'll go learn WordPress and I'll get back to you in a week. Uh, would you be interested? There's nothing wrong in calling up. Now, when you hear about all those job layoffs at the big corporations, that's largely very large corporations where they're going to be laying off C-sharp developers, maybe Java developers, all the entry-level stuff, um, Node people, large corporations. Anyway, this will pass, by the way. You know, Again, if you want to go work for these large corporations, the angle is not React now. The angle is to go with agentic development, uh, AI-first development, and at, at the very least, AI augmented development. I'm hearing this more and more and more, not just with programming and development. When they're looking at people, uh, you got somebody who knows that has the, we'll, we'll, talk, we'll talk coding. You have somebody, um, uh, person A, there we go, person A who knows uh, React but doesn't use AI versus person B who knows React but does a lot of AI work, knows how to work with Claude and Anthropic or maybe Gemini or whatever. Person B with the AI skill set is going to get the job. That's it. If you want to learn the web stack from me, links below. If you want to get in amazing shape so you can uh, take out your clients if they don't pay you, I'm just joking. Uh, you can check out my Fit Over uh, 50 program. It's good for all ages, although it has been designed for uh, middle-aged guys like me. Nonetheless, if you're younger, you're gonna. It's going to be even 
more explosive for you in terms of um, your health benefits. Anyway, uh, you can check out the links below. If you disagree with anything I say, by the way, feel free to post below. And um, I always want to give people uh, some good advice about career and life. And I always I want to leave you with this. Just learn from my mistake. I wrote some Ruby code and I had all my hair and then I wrote my Ruby app. I wrote a couple Ruby apps and look what happened to me.